Well, here we are, Elise. This is the place. This is where Grandpa wanted you to scatter his ashes? It's so beautiful. Why did he pick this spot? Well, this is the place where we first laid eyes on each other so long ago. I would often come here to feel closer to him. Wow. T tell me more about him, Grandma. What was he like? Oh, well, he was terribly handsome and had eyes as blue as the sea itself. And he could be oh so stubborn sometimes. But he could be quite a rascal too, especially in the bedroom. <laughs> I, I think it's time, Elise. Okay. Silas, my love, I release you to the sea, wild and passionate like you, until one day when I can join you hence. Hey! Those are my french fries! Oh, I'm so sorry. Hand me the urn. Oops! Repairing skin tears in the elderly can be difficult because of the cheese wire effect where the skin is so fragile that ordinary suture simply tears through whenever you apply tension to it. If steri strips and tissue glue alone aren't enough, there are a few hybrid methods that can improve your chances of success. You want to begin by exposing any hidden real estate. Skin tears often roll up like a window shade as the skin recoils, and it can be hard to unfurl these hidden remnants, especially if the wound is all stiff with crusted blood or contaminants. Soaking the entire wound both cleans it and makes the skin flexible again. And once you've done that, if you gently stroke the wound margins with a moistened swab, you'll often find large amounts of viable skin that were hidden before. If you apply some benzoin and steri strips to the wound margins, you can then suture through the steri strips and the skin together. The steri strip provides enough support so you can put tension on the suture without ripping through the skin. The steri strips simply stay in place until the sutures are removed about 10 days later. One advantage of this over tissue glues is that the patient can put antibiotic ointment on the wound without weakening the repair. Just have them put it right over the suture so it can track through the holes in the steri strips to reach the wound. For very high tension tears, you can take some of those super sticky cardiac monitor stickers and fold them over about a third of the way like this. Once the wound's been cleaned, you gotta dry the skin along the margins really well with alcohol preps and benzoin if you have it. Once it's dried completely, apply the stickers like this. Now you can suture through the rolled over parts of the stickers. You could sew through the skin too, although I'm not doing it here. And because they're slightly elevated, there's less chance the sutures are gonna bite into the skin. Once you draw the wound margins together, now there's so much less tension on them that you can apply tissue glue to them and also to the monitor stickers so they'll stay in place longer. With the tension relieved, in addition to the glue, you could also put on some steri strips and even a suture or two if you want. 